mostly because we needed a way so just like Lu Luciano explained a, a few minutes ago we wanted to, to paint the world with blood so we, we could make that contrast between the grayscale and the red and we find that uh, we needed a lot of variation between the decals and we needed variation also from uh, from the different uh, parts of the world because if we were to use textures to mask the decals it would seem very repetitive it's like a tileable and you will guess you will see that right off the bat and we didn't want that so what we came up with was a solution to make the the decals tile by using a workspace noise so okay. as you can see when i move the decal it's oh, like change the shape so it's it's supported with the urp decal projector so That's we use this a, a lot so we we could achieve any any kind of shape and we if you just increase the weight and the head it also like flows like okay. this into into the new shape and this saves us like a lot of time in, in the so production so this blood texture is actually, uh, it is a, it is a texture, but it's built with a noise, and so it, it'll spawn on the location mm -hmm. where the blood splatter happens, right? Yeah, it will and, spawn. And kind of animate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it spawns on the location. We, we have a script that Luciano make that's called uh, Blood Decal, and yeah. it has a minimum size and a max size to grow, a, a target size, you could say and uh, growing speed. So when it spawns, it takes that information and then starts expanding like like this in, in real time. Oh, wow. And we also have like a, a lot of uh, parametric different uh, options so we can play with them. If this is the, the real mask that we I are... See. That's we are what then, we're actually looking at, okay. Yeah. This noise is what cuts or what clips that uh, origin, is, is that like a origin. alpha? Like you're putting on the alpha channel and yeah. you're clipping from the alpha or something? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So if if we take a look at, at the shader graph, yeah. you have the this this is the, the original circle. Yeah, you can full screen it by the if you hit shift space, yes. then we can then everyone can see the yeah uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Awesome. So just for everyone who's watching, so mm -hmm. you can get a closer view. Yeah. Yeah. So the base technique to to get a, a circle using shaders or the the one that I find. That that works all the time is just taking the length of a UV channel that's moved to the center, and then with a bunch of remaps, and you you can then change like the where it begins, where it ends, and after that I'm using the uh, I'm, I'm multiply to to change the node, to change the noise. I'm sorry, yeah. And uh, after the, the noise is, is changed, also by using some some ads and saturates, just to to change where it begins, where it ends. Mm -hmm. After that, I multiplied that with uh, the original circle. So it, I, after that, it just looked like this, with the yeah. noise applied to, to the circle. And I'm using the same technique to make the different the differences between colors. And the okay. differences between gradients, so you you can see that you can have like a hard edge, or you can just have a more more marked gradient in here. Mm -hmm. And you can also change the shape. You can also change the color, the roughness, and it's a lighter also the, or a darker. Yeah, the, the yeah. tiling. We have this small detail albedo or diffuse that it's also used to to change the color. And we are also using the same for the alien blood, that it's just another mask, another noise, and another albedo with different colors. Okay. And the the robot, that it's mostly like resemble oil. Oil, so it's black, it does the same yeah. thing. Yeah, we, we, we wanted to make it like the different colors, so we so you could see right off the bat which enemy you were you were yes. fighting. Okay. So we, we came <laughs> up with this. Just I want to pitch in something. There is also yeah. a game design reason for different different type of loads. There is actually, since the game is a roguelite, you actually uh, get uh, passives, meaning uh, powers that activate when certain conditions are met, or always, depending on the situation. Yeah. And there is a passive in particular where if you stand on top of blood, uh, you will absorb it. And Amazing. That, depending on the type of load, meaning the race of the blood, you will get healed, 
you will uh, lose uh, health, meaning get damaged, or uh, nothing will happen, which will uh -huh, be okay. basically a neutral effect. So the, um, the human uh, blood is the neutral one. The um, alien actually damages you, uh, but the oil heals you. It's like you became a, a robot. And Juan is now actually showcasing the, the effect when you write. It's a very cool tornado that yeah, you... To show <laughs> the, that you're being yeah, yeah, affected you by the passive of yeah. standing on the When blood. you stand okay. on top of the blood, and the blood actually gets okay. sucked in and disappears really using the, the same effect that uh, Juan showed before, where you can scale the blood. Well, we did the opposite. We shrink it down, and blood disappears, and it looks uh, really good. And uh, Juice Dupe 25 in the chat says, "Who knew Blood and Games was so technical? I gotta play this now. <laughs> yes, you do. It's <laughs> really, we'll a really Steam. technical. Yeah, it? we'll drop a link to the Steam page uh, right now. You can actually buy this right now. It's already out, so go check it out. Um, so, th is this is this using a particle effect? The um, or uh, is it like a scrolling texture? What is going on with this effect? You you could say it's both because okay. um, you have." Uh, a particle effect that it's actually the like a ribbon that I 3D model. That's what you are seeing that it's spinning right now. It's like a, a stripe of polygons. Yeah. And um, and then I made a shader so it could uh, scroll the texture, the noise, okay. all the way up, just by using the the main UV. And I'm using also the, the custom data from the particles to change uh, the speed and to change the, the flow and the, the shape of the mesh. So it's if a particle you, effect that's being rendered onto this uh, ribbon? It's, it's not being rendered. I'm using the, the custom vertex strings, the uh, custom vertex strings, sorry, and the yes. custom data from the particle system okay. into uh, the shader. So I'm, I see. Okay. I'm sending that in the texture coordinates of the of the particle system of the shader, and then I'm grabbing that information, for example, to trim the the strip at the end and to trip trim or clip the the strip at at the beginning. And with with that information, I can. If you take a look, for example, is the trim so it can fade in and fade out, like at the top yes. and the bottom? Okay. Yes. If you take a look at the the beginning, it's just like maybe you could zoom in on the effect fade. so we can see it. Yeah. And full screen. Yeah. The perfect. Yeah. There we go. So, for example, you you can see that it's beginning and it's controlling the flow oh, wow. while it's playing, and then it's just the other way around. Okay, very cool. And it also has these little uh, blood streams or strings. I see, I see. So I will say content warning, a little too late, mm -hmm. but <laughs> <laughs> extreme gore yeah. and violence on the stream, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> yeah, picture this as ketchup. Yeah, this is all ketchup, uh, by the way. It's just a, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of blood, we, we also have a, a made a, a lot of particles like using blood. Oh. Which Wow, are, that's a really cool old. one. This is one of the main that we use for the on hit effects. This is on for hit for the right? enemies. Okay. Yeah, when, when you get shot. shot. Yeah, yeah. It's it's also uh, it depends on the direction that you were shot also. So it's, so it's I'm really actually good. curious. You, okay, so you, you shoot an enemy in a direction. You you spawn this particle effect mm -hmm. in the direction that the bullet is going, right? Yes. And then what spawns the decal? Is it the same concept? You're spawning both, or is there a delay so that the splatter can happen and then the blood appears on the ground? What is that sequence? How are you achieving that sequence? Oh, uh, I can pitch in since I call it. Uh, oh, please, yeah. I mean, on when you see it in the game, it's like, oh, it looks like very cool, but in reality, it's like, when you see the actual effects, like, wow, really? It, it all happens at the same time? Uh -huh. So at the same frame when you hit the, the enemy, Okay. The particle begins to play, but at the same time, the decal already gets spawned. But everything mm. happens so pa fast that you don't really can tell if it happened at the same time or like half a second later. Right. Um, Our eyes are not uh, like, we can't, they can't pick up on that. Yeah, uh, they can't. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, but either way, the, when, you, when we spawn the decal, there is actually the, the growth that uh, Juan showed before. So there is a still the, the... It animates. We want to animate it a lot, so that's basically... How we went with uh, and does that animate in in um, using the animation tool, or are you just doing it in the code? Uh, code. Okay. I, I, it's a coroutine that basically each frame increases the the size 
the, the vector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And does it, are there variables? Like, does it depend on how far you shot them from or yes. how close? Oh, um, yeah. It depends on distance, uh, how much uh, damage you made with the weapon, uh, how close it is to a, a wall, actually. Because, wow. uh, for instance, if Juan, can you move the, the particle effect to the wall, so that we can be more practical with the, the idea? Um, so, um, when Juan puts this, you will see that of course, the blood will literally clip through the wall. Through the and wall, that and you'll see it. That looks really bad. Yeah. So the the game also measures the distance through the wall and mm -hmm. figures out the maximum allowed length mm -hmm. to, well, not have the blood clip through the wall. And okay. So it has all these three factors to basically decide the size of the particle, but also the size of the decal. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't mask or anything. You just make sure that nothing flies out the, yeah. out the world. That's yeah. great. Uh, Basically, uh, 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 if one wants to know, it's Raycast. It's Raycast, we'll, okay. We'll all Raycast that distance and then we pass it through the shader and or the size depending on what we think because many other assets on the game also use this trick to figure yes. out. Are you inside the wall or close to the wall? It's actually and really it's interesting. Uh, uh, and do you, do you have the blood splatter on the wall as well? We do. Um, there's also a, a bunch of other Raycast that figure out the distance through the wall and, well, with a uh, cool math, b basically figure out uh, the inclination of the decal, meaning it could be like uh, 90 degrees if you are very close to the wall. Mm -hmm. If you're in between, you can be between 60 to like 15 degrees. And mm -hmm. if you are nowhere near a wall, it goes mm -hmm. flat out zero degrees like Juan had in the floor like this. Uh, so we basically need to figure out how close you are to it and then rotate it accordingly. Um, mm -hmm. It took a lot of time actually to, to achieve that because there are many situations like what happens if there is a, a table in the middle of the, between a wall and oh of course and then this like uh, the blood gets all broken all down over and the place, blood all over yeah, the yeah. place. <laughs> yeah yeah it was uh, very uh, very tough to achieve but yes, see, we I we see. spent a lot of time in uh, because that's part of the game feel to have uh, the the blood is the immediate visual feedback that you get when you hit an enemy. So and where you also get uh, hit. Yes, you need to be satisfying. Uh, so we put a lot of time in it. Yeah, it's worth mm -hmm. it. Time well spent.